So quickly, there is another uh, method or approach, you call it approach or surgery, that could be done toward repair femoral hernias, all right? So we're trying to basically build our surgical knowledge on this. So uh, one of the methods is actually called the MAC Evidis, okay? MAC Evidis High Approach Surgery for Femoral Hernia Repair. MAC Evidis High Approach uh, Surgery for Femoral Hernia Repair. Now, looking at this image, you see a lot of what procedures or approaches. You see the AK Henry, you see the low tensing, you see the Lockwood, all right? All these approaches are towards what? The repair of uh, this femoral hernia, all right? And one of them is actually known as the Mark Evidy. Now, if you notice the Mark Evidy is high, all right? And it's straight down, dotted, okay? Across what? The femoral hernia, all right? So we'll be defining this process, we'll be looking at the key steps, looking at the advantages of this approach, why you should use this method, look at the indications, that's basically um, some situations that you actually need to use this method. They look at the special consideration, okay? So I'll uh, just, uh, another image, you see the Mark Evidy. All right, so Mark Evidy is actually, uh, it could be straight like this, down, or just slanty, all right? but from up down that's why they call it a high approach okay so looking at this we said that uh, mark evidence high approach surgery is a unique technique for repair of femoral hernia all right so here's an overview uh, what are the key steps first of all you do an incision yeah first of all maybe you could like clean the patient and do all this what um antiseptic stuff okay to disinfect all right then you incise so a high incision is made typically above the inguinal ligament, okay? So because it is above the inguinal ligament, that's why they call it a high approach, okay? So dissection now. The femoral canal is accessed and the hernia sac is what? Identified, okay? Reduction. Femoral sac is reduced and the femoral canal is explored, all right? Then repair. A non-absorbable mesh or suture repair is performed. Okay, non absorbable because you want it to be there, you want it to hold that place back for the rest of the patient's life. Do you understand? So, you use a non absorbable stuff, okay? And the non absorbable stuff is what will reinforce the femoral canal, okay? Closure now. The incision is closed in layers, all right? What is the advantage of using this method, all right? Um, over other methods, all right? Well, we should just see advantage of this method, just talking about this method. You could see other methods here, but we're discussing about this word, Mark Evidy. What is the advantages, all right? It's a better exposure of the femoral canal, okay? Coming from up, cross the femoral canal, or you're going like this, okay? So there's a better exposure. It's easier to access the hernia sac. It's reduced risk of what? Mixing a concomitant what inguinal hernia, all right, and this will basically still allow for what simultaneous repair of what inguinal hernias and femoral hernias, all right. So this is uh, actually like a process that is in between the repair of the two most common hernias that could occur in the groin, all right. What are the indications? What are the situations where you need to use this? Okay, where you have primary femoral hernias, all right. Where you have a hernia that is reoccurring, they repair it later on. Now the patient is coming back. That okay, just use this method. Use the mesh, hold everything back forever. All right. Then if the person have concomitant what inguinal and femoral hernia, that means the person has inguinal hernia and femoral hernia all at the same time. All right. So what are the special considerations? All right. You actually requires expertise in femoral hernia repair. Not every surgeon can do this. All right. Uh, it needs careful dissection and handling of tissues, which is necessary. Uh, mess selection and placement are critical for successful repair. Do you understand? You need to se uh, select the right mesh. So away from mesh now, I've noticed that whenever we are in the lab doing some dissections, doing some uh, um, surgeries, um, sometimes when the surgeons need a particular nylon, let me say they need nylon 3.0, and it is not in the theater they get so mad do you understand so these things are actually not a roadside thing okay 
specific things are needed for specific purposes all right so that's it about what the mac with this high approach surgery femoral hernia repair see you guys